Don't ask, don't tell is a big lie. Yeah. Yeah. Members of Congress should stay in session to repeal it, as Senator Lieberman has said, rightly, and as sponsors of S4023 suggest. And if for no other reason, wavering members of Congress should vote to repeal this law for reasons of fundamental human decency. Yeah. Don't Ask, Don't Tell requires them to live a double life, and it forbids them from confiding in their parents, friends, doctors, anyone, without risk of being outed and discharged. When I was 18 years old, I was a rifleman on the DMC in South Korea, Pam Yujon, a mile from the North Korea. I learned something very important that cold winter. I learned that you stay with the mission. I learned that you get up every day and you keep going out there, out there in the cold until the job is done. For the one million gay LGBT service members who have served our country in silence. These heroes are why we all came out today to stand on the grounds of the Senate and say to our senators, don't go home. Don't go home. Don't go home. Don't go home. In light of where we were, say, in January of this year, how do you feel about where we are? Since January, uh, the House has passed the repeal bill uh, back in May. Uh, two days later in May, the Senate Armed Services Committee reported the same repeal bill out. Uh, unfortunately, it's been um, on the Senate calendar for far too long. Uh, however, I think notwithstanding the vote yesterday, we still have a real shot at getting this done in the lame duck session. We flew into Pope Air Force Base, and the most American thing that I'd ever seen happened. The back of the plane drops, I walk out with 300 other soldiers, I run up the field, the airfield there at Pope Air Force Base, I hand my saw, my squad automatic weapon, to an NCO, and I run directly into the arms of my girlfriend. And standing two soldiers behind me was a soldier that we had come to believe was gay that will always be denied that. As I stand here today, I tell you there is nothing more un-American than that. I'd like to take a moment to, uh, to address my senator, Senator Joe Manchin. We fought valiantly for you, Senator. We fought valiantly for you. And now it's time for you to fight valiantly for us. Have you spoken with anybody from Senator Manchin's office since the vote yesterday? We have not spoken uh, to his staff or to the senator uh, since the vote. We will be back in uh, with the senator back in West Virginia, as Pepe Johnson indicated. Uh, this is not over. The senator should be ashamed of how he voted yesterday. Don't go home. Don't go home. Don't go home. Don't go home.